Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Just got through watching Errol Spence versus Kale Brook. Um, going into the 11th round when the stoppage happened, um, I had Errol Spence pulling away in this fight. Even if the 11th round would have got completed, you would have had Errol Spence more than likely up seven rounds to four. And I believe Errol Spence, even if he would have went the distance with Kale Brook, he would have more than likely won this fight eight rounds to four. Which to me, that's pretty much a dominant performance. You know, Kale Brook had his moments in the first half of the fight, but after the sixth round, Errol Spence started to impose his will, landing hard body shots, working the jab, and Kale Brook just came to Errol Spence's strength and power. You know, um, Errol Spence is a big dude. He's he he's wide, and this is why I keep saying that Errol Spence is gonna outgrow 147. I just think he's just gonna just have difficult trying to get down to 147 at age 30 it is what it is i think if bud isn't next after danny garcia then more than likely that fight isn't gonna happen as far as manny pacquiao go i'm tired of hearing that shit about when manny pacquiao doesn't have to fight errol spence well as long as he has a belt he should be considered a you know a opponent for errol spence now like i said he picked Keith Thurman. It was a cherry pick, and we all know why. Then he had that fake call out like earlier this year, like he really wanted to fight Errol Spence when he knew Errol Spence was out of commission. He knew Errol Spence wasn't gonna be able to fight, you know, in the first uh the first half of 2020. So it was just all cap. You know, man, he just full of shit. Just like he had no intentions on fighting Bud, he just does that to keep his name out there and to fool his fans like he really trying to fight the toughest dudes out there. Keith Thurman was a flat-out cherry pick, and he knew Errol Spence wasn't able to go. How about this? If Manny Pacquiao really wants to fight Errol Spence, why don't he just say, hey, I want the winner of Danny Garcia, Errol Spence? Ain't heard from Manny. And you Manny Pacquiao fans, don't come here with that. Manny's earned the right to fight whoever he wants. Like I said, that's true if he gives up the belt. But don't try to hold the belt and then you saying you don't want to fight Errol Spence or you don't have to fight Errol Spence. If you just want to fight for money, that's fine. But don't be a title holder and then say you don't want to fight other title holders like Bud and Errol Spence. So, you know, just wanted to put a quick video out there. This is your boy, Town Biz. I'm out. <laughs>